One of Charleston's most famous restaurants is slapped with a wrongful death lawsuit. That's after one family says a Husk employee, Adam Burnell, drank on the job and later killed their relative in a car wreck. So what are the laws concerning employees and alcohol? Deja Knight takes a closer look. John Keener has been in the restaurant business for years. He says keeping tabs on hundreds of customers' alcohol consumption is tough. Watching his employees, mostly between the ages of 18 and 27, can be tougher. Your employees can have it right there, ne right next to them. They can bring some in themselves in a flask if they wanted to and sneak it in the bathroom or whatever, just like any other job anywhere else. We have to be aware of it, alcohol issues in the restaurant. After the job shift, the rules of drinking are blurry. At Keener's restaurant, no employee is allowed to drink if they work that day, before or after their shift. You can come in the restaurant um, when you're not working and you can have a maximum of two drinks during that day, during a 24-hour period. In the lawsuit filed Wednesday against Husk Restaurant, the family of Quentin Miller says the restaurant was negligent by allegedly allowing their employee to get drunk after his shift and after 2 a.m. when it's illegal to continue serving alcohol. One attorney says their claim is legitimate. I surmise that a jury and a judge aren't going to turn, aren't going to look favorably on the activities of this bar if it either turned a blind eye or if this man was served by other employees. So my hunch is that the case is going to be successful, probably significantly so. The employee charged with felony DUI, Adam Burnell, had a blood alcohol level of .242. That's three times over the legal limit. David Howard, who is the president of the neighborhood dining group, which owns Husk, says they cannot comment on the case yet, but are deeply saddened by this tragedy. Back to you.